In 2011, 8.2 million Hispanic women ages 16 years or older were employed, but only 89,000 held positions in management, business, and financial operations. How can we continue to leverage the potential of Latina business women to higher levels of success? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined by Nita Vaca, Chair Emeritus of the Board of United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and founder and CEO of Pinnacle Technical Resources. Nina, welcome to the program. Thank you. Delighted to be it's here. It's always good to see you. So let's uh, go back to my first question that I asked a few moments ago. How can we leverage the success of Latina businesswomen to higher levels of success? How do we give them the tools that they need in order to succeed? The way that we unlock potential for all women, Robert, including Latinas, is giving them a voice at the table. The United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, as you know, is the most powerful Hispanic business organization in America. We represent over 200 chambers of commerce throughout the country. We represent over 200 Fortune 500 companies, and more importantly, 3.1 million known Hispanic businesses, wow. of which Latinas are leading the charge. So what's interesting, Nina, what you just said is making sure that they're at the table, making sure that they have a voice to be able to make the decisions at the table, and also, quite frankly, reminding their male counterparts that they're growing at a much faster rate than their male counterparts, in fact, are. That's absolutely right. The new initiative that we're launching is named exactly that, At the Table, Women in Business and Leadership. If you couple what we just talked about in the explosive growth in the entrepreneurial uh, field, and you also couple the explosive growth in population, then you know that women are an incredible force to be reckoned with for the future of this country. When women succeed, America succeeds. So what we aim to do with At The Table, this new energetic initiative, is really shining the light on the contributions that women make to this great country. And Nina, what you just said a few moments ago in terms of America succeeding, let's be very specific. That means good quality paying jobs. That means a rise of the middle class. That means making sure that individuals, if they so choose, can go back to school. And so by default, that means everybody succeeds. America in general, but specifically you, me, your aunt, your uncle, everyone. Absolutely. Having women in positions of influence, in positions of power, having women at the table, at the table of procurement, at the table mm. of leadership, at the table of elected office, that's what we aim to do. The contribute, by the way, although it's an initiative that's started by the United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, it's less about Hispanics, more about women, more about America, and it's very inclusive. In fact, we have women from other countries already wanting to get involved and at the table. Nina, we mentioned a few moments ago that 89,000, only 89,000 held positions of influence across this country. How do we plant the seeds today so that we can see the fruits of the labor tomorrow? In other words, how do we create more mentorships, more internships, more apprenticeships, so that more and more women can get into the field of management and be at the table? That's exactly what At The Table is all about. The way that we will do this is twofold. The first is shining the light, not just on the numbers, but the faces of all the contributions that Latinas make in this great country, in every city, in every state, in every sector. We wanna shine and we, we're leaning on our partners to help us shine and tell their story 365 days a year. The second way we're gonna do it is through programming through access to capital if you're an entrepreneur, through access to mentors if you're a corporate leader, through access to the opportunity to run for office, giving people access to network, access to resources that they didn't have before. I think if you couple those two, creating an awareness and providing a program, we are planting a seed for the future. It's interesting, we have 15 seconds left. What it sounds like is you're empowering the individuals, empowering women to make sure that they have a voice, but also recognizing that they that they do can make a, uh, make a positive contribution. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you for having and, me. And your leadership. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.